Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Kodash. Double answer the apostles, the bishop and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations unto the elect, which starts with 144,000, which are the prophets of the Lord, and also you men, women, and children who will believe on Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, through the words of the prophets, I say, salutations and salute. First and foremost, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. The name of the only begotten Son, our Lord, King, and Savior, is Yahweh Shai. And they are the power of the Israelites. And today they will be the so-called Negro, so-called Latino, so-called Native Americans. And also you speckled bird Israelites, you Israelite foreigners who will look like the other nations. But your spirit and bloodline goes back to the forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This Bible is for you. And with that being said, I want to get into a lesson in Lord Willis Edifying. And the Lord gave me a title yesterday, and um, it was Remember Mercy and Wrath, right? And it stemmed from the scripture I have on the screen in Habakkuk, the third chapter, the second verse, okay? Because we have to remember, okay, my fellow, let me get this right quick. The whole duty of man is to fear Yahweh Bashem Shai, okay? The Lord wants us to fear him, man, all right? Because... These days are evil, okay? The Lord's bringing terror upon this earth. There is no good times coming. Well, for the elect, you know, the elect will be delivered, okay, when it's all said and done. But yet and still, the things is coming upon this earth. It's going to be nothing ever seen in life, okay? No day is compared to the day that's coming, right? So it says, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. All right? And how about Shemiah Hashai wants his fear, man? Okay? And the things that he's about to bring upon this earth, oh, he will get his fear. The whole world is going to know not to mess around with how about Shemiah Hashai, man? The judgment that he's about to bring. Okay, and that's what the prophets have been sent out with this message. Okay, to tell you to fear the most high and repent, right? Second Corinthians 5 and 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, and we men the Lord is very terrible, he's the king of terrors. Okay, they call him Allah Shadia, demon like power, and we know the Lord has no respect of persons. Okay, the Lord kills old, young, maids, young maids, animal. It doesn't matter. The Lord is a, a, a judge of righteousness. Okay. It says, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the Most High. And I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. Okay. So we go out here and we tell you the judgment that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is about to bring upon this earth. And we know only the elect of the nation of Israel is going to hear these things and tremble at his word. Because that's the Lord looking for, man. Those that tremble at his word. Right? Second Edges 15 and 5. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. And this is what Yahweh about Shimei Awashai is bringing. Okay? Anything that happens on this earth, Yahweh about Shimei Awashai, he sanctions it. Okay? That's one thing you people don't know about the Heavenly Father. They always talk about God is love. God is love, love, love. Yes, the Lord is love. But guess what the Lord hates too? And he hates all wicked abominations. He hates iniquity. He hates evildoers. Okay? Especially day of the circumcision. You see? And I'm talking about you Israelites out there who follow the way of the heathen. The Lord has a special day for you called Jacob's Trouble. And we're going to get that scripture. You see? For all you rebellious Israelites out there. Whether you know you're Israel or don't know you're Israel. You see? That's why the prophets are out here because everybody has a chance to see, hear the word, and have the chance to repent. If we don't repent, hey, that's just on you, man. 
Once again, is this is only for the elect of the nation of Israel, but yet still the Lord is fair. Okay, the Lord is fair. It says Isaiah 45 and 7. This is the Heavenly Father speaking through Isaiah. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh, do all these things. You see? And that's the duality of the Heavenly Father. He loves and he hates. He makes peace and he creates evil. Okay? Adversity, prosperity, anything in our life, it comes from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Nothing just happens by chance. Okay? No one in this earth just all of a sudden drops dead for no reason. No, there's a reason. Okay? Yeah, how about Shemiah was shot, bro? Judgment upon that man. You see? Life and death is in the power of the Lord. Okay? No one can save their life and no one can take their life unless Yahweh how about Shemiah was shot allows you to do that, man. Okay? Because contrary to public belief, there is no free will. You see? And that's the main thing, okay? Why people don't fear you, how about Shimei Awashai? They don't understand that the Lord controls your life. The Lord can lead you to peace or he can lead your ass to evil, man. Okay? That's why it talks about in Second Edges. It said, what? Choose ye this day. You see? Because you don't have to listen to the problem. You can say, oh, these guys are crazy. They don't know what they're talking about. They're just uh, uh, fear mongers or whatever you may say, right? But yet still, Sirach 15 and 17, and it reads, Before men is life and death. So Lord's giving you a choice. Life is repentance and fearing Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? And death is disobeying the word and continuing and leaning to your own understanding. And as it is written, the Lord said, All of them that hate me love death. Okay, so if you hate the words of the prophets, if you don't want to repent, right? You want to scoff, you want to talk shit, you think you got it, guess what? You're telling the Lord you love death. And that's exactly what's going to meet you at your front door, man. And you're not going to know when this comes either. Okay? It's saying, 17, before man is life and death, and whether him like of shall be given him. So, hey, choose what you want, man. The choice is already made, right? But at, yet and still, it's a thing called faith. Okay? Hey, now's the day to repent, man. Who knows? The Lord may have mercy upon you, man. You see? If I could tell you one thing, being disobedient and following the way of the heathen, you know, it's going to lead you right to destruction, man. That's going to put you on the bad side of your how about Shimei And that's not the place you want to be. You see? Because once again, the Lord, he kills and he makes alive, man. Right? First Samuel 2 and 6. The Lord, Yahweh, killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord, Yahweh, maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. See, and the Lord decides who has money and who's, who's poor and who's rich. Every facet of our life is decided by the Heavenly Father through His Son, man. Once again, nothing just happens by chance. Okay? Everything is orchestrated by the Heavenly Father in the heavens and it's played out on where? On earth. Because conscious, another thing people, these wacky, taggy Christians uh, teach about, like it's a war in heaven, Satan up there fighting the, uh, the Heavenly Father. No, all the angels are up there in heaven are in perfect order. You suffer judgment when you come back down under the sun, which is the earth. Okay? Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? And the people not be afraid. Shall there be evil in a city. And the Lord Yahweh have not done it. Ain't nothing happens by chance once again. As it's written the Lord said. A sparrow can't even fall to the ground. Without the Heavenly Father sanctioning it man. That's power man. The Heavenly Father knows. Everything about everybody on this earth man. Every soul on this earth. The Heavenly Father knows them. It's a statement the Heavenly Father said. He said he know how many hairs is upon our head. Who could count that? But the Heavenly Father, he knows it. You see? And that's the main reason why we should fear Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Because these days are evil, man. And only evil is coming. Okay? Don't listen to any other person talking about, oh, good days are coming. We're going to be good. 
It's going to get better. No. Babylon the Great has an expiration date. Okay? This place is definitely going to fall. And people are definitely going to suffer upon this earth, man. Especially here in Babylon the Great. Because this is the place of future destruction and future judgment, man. Which is real soon. It's right there at the door. Ezekiel 7 and 5. Thus said the Lord, power and evil and only evil, behold, is come. It said, 6, an end is come. The end is come. It watches for thee. Behold, it is come. And we're at the end, man. This place ain't going up, man. This place is going down. And you Jake is all happy about, oh, we're going to get Trump into office. This is this is a new life, a new hope, man. This man's going to take your ass straight to fucking living hell, man. You thought you had it bad now. You don't even know what's next. He's going to make you take the MOTB. He's going to cut your right to even speak freely on these social platforms, man. You see? That's why the Lord said his people are silent children, man. The scripture teaches us to never trust the enemy. Every few years and years, you people constantly have hope in this fucking system, man. How long you simple, simple ones will you love simplicity, man? And that's Jake for you. A nigga get up there and say a few smooth-ass words to you. Give you some damn cheeseburgers. Smile at you. You know? Give you some fucking free phones or something. A stimulus uh, uh, check. Right? And now he's cool. You see? Scripture say a gift destroyed for heart. Esau has shown us time after time after time again that he's not for us, man. But you know what? At the end of the day, the Lord's going to allow, he's going to show, he's going to allow Esau to come down with great wrath upon you, Jake's that trust in this system so much. And guess what? At that moment, because you didn't want to repent, the Lord's going to mock you. He's going to say, go cry to those that you made those strength. You see? Go to, go to the who you was always going to. Don't come to me now. You see? Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. All right? And we in the year, the whole four year of Jacob's trouble, man. All right? This is the election year. And as you can see, this second half of the year about to get real motherfucking spicy, man. All right, who knows what they figure pull out next? You just had a cyber um, outage the other day. Okay, the assassination. We don't know what else they about to pull out the motherfucking the rabbit out the hat, man. What else they for to pull out the hat? Who knows? But one thing for sure and two things for certain: you Israelites out there who hear this word and you're pussy footing around, you don't have time all day to repent, man. Cause soon the Lord gonna close this thing down. Just as um, Noah was prophesying, and the Lord um, put him in the ark, and the Lord closed that door, it's gonna be it's a set time in this season now for the prophets to prophesy. His word go out, and once the Lord say it's accomplished, and it's, 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 um, the elect are sealed, he's gonna close that door, man. You see, because it say, but he shall be saved out of it. It's talking about the elect, man. And that's all the Lord cares about. The Lord ain't looking for the whole nation, man. All right? Only the elect, the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So going back to Habakkuk 3 and 2. Because this is about to be terrible, man. And those of us that teach the word, we, and you best believe, we're praying to Yahweh by Shem Shah for the destruction of this place. And also, we're praying for mercy. Just as Habakkuk, when he saw this vision, man. All right? It say, Habakkuk 3 and 2. O Yahweh, by Hashem I was shy. I heard, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. Right? Did you say a trumpet be blown in the city and who should not be afraid? Well, but guess what? The prophets are blowing the trumpet. Do it sound? Do this message I just got through speaking about? Do it sound like peace is coming on earth? Remember, the Lord has no respect of persons, man. The Lord judges young, old, man, woman. Little kids, little women, babies, whatever, man. That's the power we're dealing with, man. 
and say, O Lord, Yahweh Shemi Shai, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. O Yahweh, revive thy work in the midst of the years, in the midst of the years make known. In wrath, remember mercy. And that's what we're praying to Yahweh Shemi Shai for, man. For mercy. We're looking for the sure mercies of David. Right? That's what the Lord said. Matter of fact, let me get that. See, it's power in repentance, man. It's power in confession. All right? Let me get this. Isaiah 55 and 3. It says, Incline your ear and come unto me. Here in your soul shall live. Understand what's being said, man. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. And that's what we're looking for, man. The sure mercies of David. And if you go back into the history, David had did things that was worthy of death. But yet, Yahweh, you know, yeah, he corrected David. But guess what? He showed David mercy. And that's what we're looking for, man. Because we've all sinned. We've all did things that's worthy of death. But at the end of the day, we're looking for the sure mercies of David, man. But that all starts with what? Confession, right? Let me get this. And I'm going to close out. Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way. This wicked is talking about you Israelites, man, who are being wicked. Okay? You degenerates who learn the way of the heathen, right? And the unrighteous man, his thoughts, talking about the Israelites. And let him return, because there is no repentance for Esau, and you heathens have nothing to do with salvation. Okay? I don't care what anybody says. Repentance is only given to the nation of Israel. All right? They say, let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man, his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And he will have mercy upon him. See? And to our power, for he will what? Abundantly pardon that means he's going to forgive, man. You see, it's power in repentance. It's power in confession. Okay? As it's written, it said, confession is made unto salvation, man. Okay? So at the end of the day, man, hey, fear the Lord, man. Fear your how about Shimei Awashai? Because these days are evil. Okay? And we as the whole four elect, hey, we want the Lord to remember mercy when he brings his wrath, man. Okay? So, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So, Lord, we're less than edifying, exhorting, give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, Shalom, Kwam Yasharala, to the elect.